Hello, and today we are going to have a look at how to use auxiliary verbs, which are helping verbs, much more naturally. I'll show you how to use these words much more naturally when you don't want to repeat something in the present and past simple tenses, when you want to say something isn't true, plus more advanced situations such as using neither, I think so and I hope so. Don't forget to grab your free PDF lesson notes that go along with this video. The link is in the description. Let's have a look at a couple of examples first. I have lost my phone. Ueno Zoo was closed last week. You can see here, have and was are used as helping verbs in these sentences. However, if you don't want to repeat some information, you can simply just use the auxiliary verb. For example, have you found your phone? Yes, I have. Now, I could say I have found my phone, but it's much easier and more natural for me to just say, yes, I have, because it means that I'm not repeating the information. Here are another couple of examples where we don't need to repeat the information. The first example, I wasn't working yesterday. My wife was. My mum could lend me her car, but she won't. As you can see here, was and won't were used as auxiliary verbs. We can also use auxiliary verbs in the present simple and the past simple. For example, do you like living in Japan? Yes, I do. Does your dad play golf? He did, but he doesn't anymore. Here, do, did, and doesn't act as auxiliary verbs. The next example is when you want to say something isn't true. For example, you didn't tell me you were going on vacation. Yes, I did. You're telling lies again. No, I'm not. Of course, as you can see, we answer the question with the opposite, to disagree with the statement that is being made. We can also use auxiliary verbs to show interest or surprise at what someone is saying. In these cases, we often use, have you, isn't she, do they, etc. to express this. Let's have a look at some good examples. George is going to university next year. Is he? That's great. The next one, it rained the whole time we were in America. Did it? That's annoying. Brad and Maggie are finally getting married. Are they? I'm so happy for them. I've just passed my driving test. Have you? Well done! Just note that with all of these, the intonation will rise all of the time because it is a question that we are asking. Therefore, we need to, of course, make the intonation go up. For example, is he? Did it? Are they? Have you? So just make sure to practice the intonation when using auxiliary verbs in that way. We can also use auxiliary verbs to agree with someone's statement. In a positive way, we usually use so, and in a negative way, we usually use neither. Let's have a look at these examples. I'm feeling tired. So am I. So is used because this is a positive. I am, right? Meaning that it's a positive sentence. Let's have a look at a negative example. I'm not feeling tired. Neither am I. So here we use not. So that means it's a negative sentence. That's why we use neither. Let's have a look at some more examples of where we can use these. I don't really like classical music. Neither do I. I'm addicted to playing that Wordle game. So am I. Carla went to Oxford University. So did Mary. Darren didn't pass his English test. 
neither did Simon. Just notice that so and neither come first and then the verb comes before the subject. Therefore it's so did Mary and not so Mary did. However, we can also use so after a verb when we don't want to repeat some information when we are asked a question. These are often used with, I think so, I hope so, I expect so, I guess so, etc. Let's have a look at some examples here. Are those cherry blossom trees over there? I think so. This means that the speaker thinks that they are cherry blossom trees, but doesn't want to repeat the information from the question. Will it be busy at the party? I expect so. The speaker expects it to be busy at the party, but once again, doesn't want to repeat the information from the question. We can always use don't and not when we want to use a negative. For example, Will it rain tomorrow? I hope not. Do you think the exam will be difficult? I don't think so. So there you have it. Those are the many ways in which you can use auxiliary verbs, helping verbs, much more naturally. These will help you speak so much more like a native speaker of English because when we want to talk with other people, we generally don't want to repeat lots of information. And we use auxiliary verbs to help us convey and communicate in a much more fluent and natural way. If you want to learn more real English conversation, then click on the video that's on the screen now. It will show a real conversation between myself and my wife, talking about different educational experiences.